I, I don't believe he said FISA warrant. He did. did he? Okay. He did. Um, and, and that's why I'm asking this question, which is, does the Trump administration have uh, the presumption that foreign leaders or foreign nationals will not be surveilled when they are in contact with you know, Trump? I, look, I, again, as I said, I don't want to start talking or guessing what he may say or may not say or explain this. Um, I think that we will have more information, or I hope to have more information, once the president is briefed um, and to find out you know, what else has, has gone on in terms of additional information on this. But, but I do think it is a starting revelation, and there's a lot of questions that need to get asked. I think it's interesting. All of the questions are in the presumptive negative towards us as opposed to, you know, why was this taking place? Um, why were people surveilled, you know, uh, ostensibly in, they were involved in the campaign? Because well, it's not, no, 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 the question that, is, the question. Your presumption, what was your presumption that foreign national? Well, no, no, it's not a presumption. Actually, I'm not the one, not right, scenario. respectfully, I'm not the one with the presumption. You guys are. I even come up here presuming anything. I actually started my comments off by saying well, that I, I presume that foreign nationals are being monitored I, by U.S. intelligence and, when they are talking to okay. And then, the, then I think, the, and then the question. Then I think there's a series of questions, which is how many times was an individual picked up? Why were they picked up? Were they unmasked? Again, a lot of this, if they're picked up during a FISA warrant, is that American citizens are prohibited by law from being unmasked, from quote having their name put out there. Why would someone's name get put out there? What ways were they described? There's a lot of questions that need to get asked. Those are the relevant issues that, that need to get asked. How many times was one individual followed? Uh, did their name get unmasked and why? But there's a lot of things that need to get followed up on. We're not at that position yet, as I've said now multiple times. The chairman's going to come up here, uh, brief the president. I don't know what, to what extent and to what detail, but hopefully as we move forward, we, we will have more. Is this what you've been, because you've said there's more information to come, more information to come. Is this what I you don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, for the eighth time, there is no, we don't know what he's going to come up here and explain and share. And until that happens, for me to talk about you know, where we think this is headed, again, we're not in the business of trying to get to this point yet. We say this is what they have. We've asked that the investigation be conducted and that people gather up information. What they have and, and to what extent, we'll know soon. Uh, two questions on Paul Manafort. Did the President know that he had worked um, to advance Putin's interests um, previous to becoming the campaign chairman? <laughs> no, I, I secondly, don't think the, the President was not aware of Paul's clients from last decade. But no. Is a problem? Like, like, you know, now that all this is coming out and no, there no, is but a what, lot of what is coming up? What else don't we know? I mean, where he went to school, what grades he got, how who, who he played with in the sandbox. We didn't know I mean, Michael Flynn uh, Okay, I, I, thanks, Peter. We're, we're, I'm having an answering we're question. No, you're not, actually. Oh. Um, right. the, the, the answer to your question is, I think to talk about someone having a client from 10 years ago that had a consulting company with clients from around the world, Paid millions of dollars I, I, to I, I, interest. No, I mean, well, I don't know what he got paid to. If you listen to what Paul well, documents hold on. I, I understand. I'm going to answer your question, if you give me a second. That he was a consultant. He had clients from around the world. There is no suggestion that he did anything improper or – but to suggest that the president um, knew who his clients were from a decade ago is a bit insane. I, there is not – he was not a government employee. He didn't fill out any paperwork attesting to something. There is nothing that he did. Uh, that suggests at this point that anything was nefarious. He was hired to do a job. He did it. That's it, plain and simple. I'm just saying, given that it was such a focus, and you brought it up just then with Hillary Clinton, that you know that these were corrupt arrangements, and that the Clinton Foundation was described as a criminal enterprise, and there was all this discussion of Russia. And you've correctly there's a big up difference more, between p p I there was say, dollars. I'm not, hold I'm on, not conflating the president. I'm just asking, is he disappointed now that he's found this out? That there was found this out what Jonathan that, that he had a client a a over a, a, like, a lot of money. in the past decade he had a client, and you're worried about what that he held. I mean, he was doing I, work to we I don't know what work he was doing. So so to suggest that just because he had a client uh, in the past decade, um, that no one's suggesting was anything improper. He was hired to count delegates, which is what he did, and he was successful at it, as he had done for George Herbert Walker Bush, Gerald Ford, and Bob Dole. He was hired to do a job, and he did it, and he did it fine. So, oh John, John, Stephen. John, why did the president fire Paul Manafort? Well, for two reasons. One is I think that there were some issues coming up with, uh, with his ties to Ukraine uh, that were becoming a distraction. And secondly, he was, I think, 16 points down at the time. Um, and he was down in the 20s in women. And I think 
president recognizes that he needs to make a change for, for those two reasons. Second question on, on health care. If, as confident and as optimistic as you are, if at this point tomorrow you don't have the magic number, should the speaker pull the bill from the floor? No, this is it. If, you're, if you want to see Obamacare repealed and replaced, this is the vote. This is the time to act. This is what people have told the American people is going to happen. This vote needs to happen. If you're, ch if you're waiting for your chance, this is it. We need to act. Jonathan. Thank you, Sean. I felt oh, that you were going to. Okay. Do you want to take a breath? Sure. Um, uh, Sean, would then candidate Donald Trump have hired Paul Manafort to such an important and prominent position in his campaign if he had known that he had had a $10 million contract with somebody so close to Vladimir Putin to, quote, greatly benefit the Putin government. If he had known that, would he have hired him? I don't know. I don't want to. Paul was hired, as I said, to count delegates. That's why he was brought in, uh, as he had been for George W. Bush, Gerald Ford, Bob Dole. He did his job. That's what he's there for. And, and he the campaign. He was chairman no, of the no, campaign. No, no, after, after yeah. what, May 19th or something. But again, I'm not going to. And to run the convention. I mean, you, you'll acknowledge it was a very prominent role. Yes, yeah, and, but to, to, as he had done for the other three, he had held very significant. Look, so again, you're basically saying, hey, the work that he did, he had a client a decade ago. Would he have? I, I don't know the answer to that. dollars to promote the interests of Vladimir. I, I don't. The answer to your question, I don't know. To look back right now and to say, we, if we knew now what we know then, would we have done things different? I don't know. That's a question that the president would have to weigh at the time. Well, I he definitely didn't know. No, you're saying he didn't know. No, he, he did no not know. Of course not. Done. To suggest that, he, I mean, that's like you can think about how many people are involved in a campaign of some sort. And granted, uh, in this campaign, there was it was run lean and mean. But to suggest that everybody knew everybody's background, did they pay their taxes? How much did they pay? What deductions did they take? Who did they work for in the price? Did he disclose that? I mean, he didn't work for what? He, did, he, he had done on work on behalf of an adversary of the United States. I don't. I, again, I'm not here to vouch for what he did or how. I don't know. Well, but I'm just. I, I, I don't want to know. I, wouldn't he? I maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know what the circumstances were at the time, and I don't know what exactly worked. So for me to start to infer that what he did or did not do was anything improper is not appropriate at this time. I don't know what work he did. I know what he was hired to do, and he did his job. Shane. I want to ask about Paul, Paul Manafort here, too. You're okay. saying he wasn't – are you saying he wasn't, you saying he wasn't disappointed to learn in the last 24 hours? I, I don't know. I haven't asked the – I, I, I don't know, no, because, again, you're – I, I don't know, th because the, re the story that came out this morning said that he had had this client. Paul's put out a statement that suggests this is what he did. This is how he handled it. There were I – mean, you've all read the same. We have not spent a ton of time going to investigate – what he did for that client a decade ago. Is the president I, I, we, to I this really have not discussed the president's with their, I know what he he's made very clear. He hired him to do a job. He did the job well. He got he got him over the finish line. Uh, on August nineteenth, he was let go of the campaign for the reasons that I mentioned. Can you say if Paul Manafort played any role with the hiring of any people in the federal government after the election? I and not not. Not to my knowledge at all. Yes. Sean, if I can ask you about um, the conversation we've been having about Paul Manafort, but not specific to Paul Manafort. When Michael Flynn's name came up at the time, having not registered as a foreign agent, there was a lot of focus on the vetting process that goes into individuals. Back then you said, we trust people to fill out the appropriate forms that they need to. He has been very, referring to the President, he has been very committed to making sure we institute high standards here and we're held to them. So given your words, is it sufficient? to trust the information that the people you hire give you? And can you say with certainty right now that there isn't anybody else that's working in the interests of another foreign government working for this yeah. government right now? It's a good question, Peter, because there's a big difference between working for a campaign or an entity where there's no forms to fill out. When you work for the United States government, especially here in the White House, you fill out a clearance form, you fill out an employment form that asks certain questions under the penalty of law. Those questions, hold on. Still got through, I guess. No, no, well, but again, he, he filled out forms under under the penalty of law. I don't know what was on his forms or what not was on his forms. Remember, what the president let him go for was not being truthful to the vice president, not necessarily for what was on a form, which I do not know what he filled out or did not fill out. If somebody fills out a form here, an SF-86, a security clearance form, or another employment document, and lies on that form or misleads, then they're going to face the penalty of law on that. That's a big difference between saying when someone was hired on a campaign or another entity that they should disclose everything in their past, whether or not they, you know, who their clients were, what 
Uh, but again, I mean, if someone presented a resume and it was faulty, uh, sure, I think that if that was fault, you know, um, as you recall, there were other there was another person during the transition that was named to a position that was uh, discussed as as not being truthful with some of their works. We let them go. That was you you people write things. They uh, have jobs. They describe themselves in certain ways. And every time that I'm aware of that we've had an incident where someone has not been full, forthright and truthful, we've let them go. But when you work for the United States government, you actually fill out security clearance forms, employment forms under the penalty of law. None of those cases occurred in the past. And to dredge up someone's work from a decade ago, it's not that Paul wasn't truthful. Just to be clear, you're trying to conflate something that's not there. You're trying to make the accusation that somehow he was dishonest or distruthful. No, Paul you Man are. I'm not asking about Paul Manafort. Who are you in asking fact, about? In fact, what I'm asking is, can you say with certainty that right now that there's nobody working for this White House that is presently working in the interests of a foreign government? I can tell you that every form has been filled out. That it, it, so you trust that there is absolutely. To, yeah, you've got to. I mean, people are filling out forms. So to sit here and ask me whether I can vouch for whatever it is, a few hundred people that have filled out everything, you know, that, that would be ridiculous for me to stand here and suggest that I possibly could. What I can tell you is, under the penalty of law, every single person has filled out a form that is being vetted by whatever level of classification that they need to get by the appropriate law enforcement agencies or, uh, or HR uh, entities. But I can't prevent somebody from fully disclosing everything on their taxes or filling out a form. What I can tell you is that if there is an instance brought to our attention where someone has misled it, either they will be referred to the appropriate law enforcement agency or dismissed or appropriate action will be taken. But yes, there is no tolerance for that. And then very quickly in regards to Devin Nunes and the fact that he's going to come today in the comments that you began the briefing by telling us. On March 4th, the president tweeted, how low has President Obama gone to tap my phones during the very sacred election process? This is Nixon Watergate, bad or sick guy. Does the president stand by his statement that President Obama is a bad or sick guy? I, I think the president's tweets stand for themselves. So We've talked about that. Hold on. I'm going to answer the question. Okay. If you can actually. So you said it stood for 